Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Discussion on the rights of indigenous peoples in post-conflict situations, peace negotiations, agreements and conventions. The group of the U.S. Congress on Armenian issues demands that Baku should be accountable at the NATO summit. Baku has started the destruction of occupied Stepanagert. After 2020, Turkey demands to change the constitution of Eastern Armenia through Baku. Varujan Gelamian. 43 songs in Artsakh dialect. The team of Eastern Armenia won medals in the International Science Olympiad in Physics. Mr. President, thank you for organizing uh, this discussion. Began his speech the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, at the 17th session of the Export Mechanisms on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples in Geneva. He noted that after the First World War with the Treaty of Severus, which was signed and implemented by the Allied and Joint Forces in 1920, Turkey recognizes the Armenian state and its sovereignty as a result of the genocide of the native Armenians in Western Armenia. This arbitration award was signed by the President of the United States on November 22, 1920. Continuing his speech, Mr. President Armin Abrahaman emphasized that since 1921, Western Armenia as a native state continues to be occupied by Turkey and Baku like northern Cyprus since 1974. Based on this international peace treaty signed by 19 allied and united powers, the U.S. Senate at the request of the Supreme Council authorizes Woodrow Wilson, the 28th President of the United States, to arbitrate the demarcation issue between Western Armenia and Turkey. To the question whether all indigenous peoples strive to become nations of indigenous states, the president answered that indigenous peoples have become a nation through their recognition of their state and they defend that status. Indigenous people live in states that recognize their rights based on the UN declaration and other legal acts. And finally, indigenous people want to become a nation with the recognition of their state. According to Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, this situation should be taken into account by the United Nations Organization based on relevant legal documents for review of their rights. The creation of a commission to complement the expert mechanisms on these issues will be a continuation of the Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples within the framework of the implementation of those rights. The Armenian Committee of America welcomes the co-chairs of the Armenian Committee of the U.S. Congress. Joint statement by Frank Pellon, Gus Bilirakis, Adam Schiff, and David Valadao calling on the Biden administration to hold Baku responsible for ethnic cleansing in Artsakh to facilitate the return of Armenians of Artsakh and to support the sovereignty of Eastern Armenia in the conditions of Baku's continuous aggression. Commenting on the congressman's initiative, Aram Hambalian, the executive director of the Washington office of the Armenian American Committee, said, Our community coalition partners and congressional allies are united in hold Baku accountable for its war crimes, starting from Aliyev's ethnic cleansing of Artsakh and the destruction of Christian sanctuaries to continuous occupation of the territory of Eastern Armenia and the illegal detention and violence of Armenian prisoners. The statement of the Armenian Congress Committee, which con coincides with the opening of the NATO summit in Washington this week, calls on the Biden administration to ensure that Baku faces the consequences of its action and is not encouraged to submit war crimes for violation of human rights and ethnic cleansing of more than 120,000 Armenians of Artsakh. The Biden administration must ensure that Baku follows international laws, including the return of Armenian prisoners of the war, the protection of cultural heritage sites, and the right of Armenians of Artsakh to return to their homes under international guarantees. The appeal concluded. In the occupied Stepanagert, Baku has been destroying entire districts of the city for the past few months. It is noticeable in the surroundings of the Artsakh State University, where apartment buildings and private houses were demolished and the university building was reconstructed and changed. The independent academic platform monitoring the cultural heritage of Artsakh warns about this. It is noticeable the tendency to change the external image of the city, the complete ex complexes. Thus, we can confirm that in recent months, Baku has started first of all the destruction of the occupied Stepanagert, the change of the image of the city. It is all also noticeable that often the buildings and complexes that existed before and built by the Artsakh authorities are presented as newly built by them, the article states. 
Folklogist Var Varujan Geramian made a note stating that since its adoption, the Armenian Constitution and the Declaration of Independence based on it have been one of Turkey's targets. According to him, in the 1990s and in the 2000s, Years the Turkish side referred to the constitution of Eastern Army on various occasions and mainly at the unofficial level. After 2020, Turkey official demands to change the constitution through Baku because they saw an opportunity. Our enemy don't target anything random. They attack the most important foundations of our state. He wrote summarizing the thought. Lucinda Nazarian, the artistic director of the new bar traditional song and dance ensemble, stated in a conversation with Dara Votaye that in 2023, before the fall of Artsakh for the radio program, they prepared and sang 10 Artsakh songs. After some time, she thought that it is possible to prepare a complete program of Artsakh songs and not to be limited to 10 songs. She started looking for musicologists who were music collectors who worked in Artsakh. And it turned out that there is a quite lot of material in archive of the NAS Art Institute. As a result, we had 43 songs in Artsakh dialect, among which there are samples that have never been performed. And there are also dances that have also not been performed and are preserved in the National Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Armenia archive, she noted. The ensemble performs in various concert programs, participated in festivals in Eastern Armenia and abroad, performed solo concert presenting song samples from different ethnographic zones of Western Armenia, especially the singing culture of the region of Hamshen Karno. The film concert song stories of Garm Ravank was filmed with the participation of the group based on the collection work done in the village of Garm Ravank. The Eastern Armenia team won two silver and six bronze medals at the International Scientific Olympiad in Physics. The scientific Olympiad took place in Mansisk, Khanti Mansisk. Armen Ghazadjan, Narek Movsisyan, Narsen Asadjan, Narek Galistyan, Sambad Pogosyan, and Gor Hasratyan won bronze medals. 108 students from 19 countries participated in the Olympiad. This was all for today. Goodbye.